What's up guys? This is Umarad from mgtools.com and in this video I'm gonna show you how to import STL file into Artcom and how to edit it. STL format is a universal format that can be used in 3D printer, CNC and for other purposes. You can export your 3D relief in Artcom as well. STL file is a combined file without any configuration. I mean that when you will import this file, it will not work as a core artcom file. As a result, you will need to spend more time to modify it than core 3D files. Now let's try to import our STL file and see what will happen. Well, there are two ways to import your STL file. You can import it into your model. To do that, open your artcom and go to top menu. From top menu, choose relief drop down menu. Choose import and from here choose import 3D model. After that find your file and click to open. In the next step you will see import dialog box where you can choose position of place and also resize it. When you are ready click on pass button to paste 3D model. But you should know that if your computer not so fast and if imported file so big then it will take time to place this 3d model into your model beside of that you can import 3d model into project to combine them with, with other 3d models well to do that you will need to create new project and when project will be ready on give attention to right side the project panel you will see that he will have models and assemble well, you need to import your model into assemble. To do that, click on assemble with the right mouse button and choose import. Then again, choose your file and click on open. After import, you will see that your 3D model on the project view. And you will able to rotate it, resize and combine with another 3D models. If you'll click on imported file, you will see that it's highlighted and when it's selected on the right panel bottom side, you will see some buttons. This button you can change position, resize it and do similar actions. Below that you can see one button that say emboss visor. With this tool you can change this height of your object and make it a little bit more extruded or less extruded. After process will finish, new model will be created and this model will be placed on default 3D relief view. If you like to convert it without any changes, then you can do it in another way. We can convert this STL 3D model into mesh and put it into relief layer. To do that, first create new model by clicking on model with the right mouse button and choose new. Well, here's the deal. When you will create new model, you will see that your 3D model is on 3D view. But in real, it's only view and 3D object not part of the model. If I'll turn assemble model off, you will see that it's disappeared from 3D view. To convert model into relief, you can use two ways. If you will click on model with the right mouse button, you will see in the menu, create relief. This way, not correct way if you want to modify object, as converted object will be placed as 3D object and you will not able to use sculptor tools. Right now, this model is too small and that's why it placed like that. If you want to change size of it, then do it before creating relief. If you want to modify 3D model, then you need to import them as a mesh. To do that, click on assemble model with the right mouse button and copy object. To paste it into model, again click on model with the right mouse button and choose paste mesh. The model will be pasted into relief front layer and now you will able to use sculptor tool. As this model hasn't any 2D based structure, 
you will not able to use relief creation tools. Also, you will not able to change form of 3D relief. You will able to use sculptor tool and other relief modifier tools. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more useful videos. Also visit mgtoots.com where you can find more materials and video courses about manufacturing softwares.